Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can install Kali Linux inside of a QEMU or KVM or LiveVirt. And I'm gonna be using Linux Lite, and this is where I'm gonna install the Kali Linux. In order for us to do the installation, we need to get um, a tool which is also called VAT Manager. It's like a GUI that we'll use to do the installation of the virtual machine. Now, the KVM is just an alternative to other hypervisors like uh, VirtualBox and uh, VMware. So this one is, is something we can install on Linux machine. So this is a Debian-based machine that I'm running and the commands should work on any other Debian-based machine. The first thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that your machine or the host supports virtualization. And the command you can use to check that is to use this one, egrep-c for count. And then you want to check for either VMX or SVM under your proc CPU info folder. If the value you get is zero, that means you don't support or you don't have it enabled. So you want to make sure that you have a virtualization enabled on, you know, normally it's going to be in, enabled in your BIOS. Then of, you want to make sure you know how much memory you have so you can know how much you have available to allocate to your virtual machine. So this is the command grep mem total and then proc mem info. Now, for instance, here I have a little bit over seven GB of our memory. Now let's go ahead and install VAT Manager. So the command to do that is going to be let me remove this. So you want to do sudo up, update. You actually do want to do. You actually want to update your packages. So then do sudo apt install VAT Manager, and then we we'll say yes to all and provide your password. So that should uh, update your packages and install this tool right here. I already have the tool installed. So it says what manager is already installed and we have the version here. Once you have that installed, then you can go ahead and open it. So just do sudo what manager. And this is the tool right here. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my terminal. See if I can expand this a little bit. Now, this is the KVM, like I was saying, and this is the tool we're going to use to install Kali Linux inside this uh, Linux light machine. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you already have the file. I already have the file downloaded onto this machine. It's inside my documents. So if I go to documents, this is the Kali Linux ISO image already downloaded. You need to do that first. Now, once you have this image file, you can begin the process. So to begin the installation, click on this icon right here for creating a new virtual machine. Then here you have to select how you'd like to install the operating system. It's gonna be local install. I'm using an ISO image. So I'm going with this option, click forward. And here you have to browse to that ISO image. So browse to my documents folder. It's right here. Double click on it. Now it's selected. Down here, it's saying auto detect. I'm gonna uncheck this. And um, let's do, see what's available. We have Debian. Since it's Debian based, we'll go with the, uh, say Debian 11 here. Click on forward. Here you need to allocate your memory and CPU. I'm gonna go with the 2048, which is the recommended uh, minimum. Uh, CPUs two are enough, I'll go forward. Then you wanna check enable storage for this virtual machine and you wanna check create a disk image. Once you have those options selected, you can click forward. Here you can change the name. Now you just wanna give it a, your name for your Kali Linux machine. I'm gonna go with the, I'll just call it Kali uh, Linux. And then I'll click on finish. 
and it's going to create the virtual machine. Now from this point on, what we'll do is, it's going to be the regular installation of a, a Kali Linux machine. That's the process it's going to go through. Now for this option, I'm going to go with install. I'm going to click, click enter. So to select the option, just use the your up and down arrows, and then you press enter to select your option. So this is going to be uh, doing the installation. I'm going to be doing a, I'm going to be showing the, the main parts of the installation, and I'm going to be pausing uh, on some of the uh, portions of it so I don't bore everybody with the installation, See, since this is going to take a while to finish. So at this point, we'll select the language. Again, let me move this window up. So it's on English, so I just press enter to select it. Country, it's on the right country. Uh, key map, correct, so press enter here. It's loading additional components. I'm gonna pause. I'll come back once we have to do something. Okay, at this point here, it's, it's asking for us to, to select a host name. I'll do Kali Linux. And then you press your arrow key, down arrow, it takes you to continue. Continue is highlighted here, you can press now enter. Okay, it's saying it's invalid, so we'll do the back arrow and then press enter. And we'll go with the default here, Kali. Well, let me just put a different name. Press enter. You can put uh, some domain here. You can use your arrow keys. Then your full name. I'm just gonna put you know arrow key continue. You know as my username again. And then here you have to put in a password. You can show the password if you want. Press continue. We enter your password. Okay, time zone. Select your time zone. Press enter. Again, I'll pause here. Now it's asking for how we want to partition. I'm going to go with the default. Just I'll press enter. Okay, enter again. And then partitioning scheme. Yes, enter. Okay, finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Uh, press enter. Okay, I uh, will select yes by using the arrow key. Press enter. And I'm going to pause again. Here it's asking to select software. I'll go with the default, so I'll press enter. I'll pause the video again. Now uh, the installation has been going on for several minutes now, but it looks like it's, it's completing. So we'll give it a few more minutes and it should be done here briefly. Okay, so it's asking if we want to install the grab bootloader on the primary drive, we'll go with uh, yes. Let's press enter and then we'll select the that drive, press enter and we'll continue waiting. So it says that it's uh, finishing the installation. I uh, will pause again. Okay, as you can see here, the installation is complete and we just have to press continue to reboot and we should start to use our virtual machine, Kali Linux virtual machine. So I'll press enter here and wait for the reboot. And we have the login screen, just use a username and password that we created. And there you go. We are inside our Kali Linux machine, which is running inside of uh, KVM QEMU. So that's how you install uh, your Kali Linux machine using uh, KVM on a, a Linux machine as your host machine. So I hope this information has been useful. I'll catch you all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.